Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I have been busy. And to start it off, I'll show you here. We are working with some tires today. I got my uh, G made bead locks in and got them mounted on my flat irons finally. Buddy Troy was out and helped me do that, so that's why I was all off camera. And then uh, my axle mounts came in. Or lock. Axle locks. It's pretty good. Uh, I need to replace that half still of the axle. It uh, hasn't shown up yet, so haven't done it. I uh, figured I'd put it together, see how it's like, and uh, yes, they do wedge in. They're really nice. Um, quite surprised. Like that's just tire wobble that's making this move, but there's like nothing there. Very, very sturdy compared to the last ones. See, there is a little bit of play in the axle, but that should be uh, hopefully taken up. Um, that's leftover screws and stuff from doing all these uh, bead locks. Comes with two longer ones. You gotta stick those through to be able to reach, and then sink the like suck the tire together so that you can get the other ones in there. Uh, next was a semi cross member. I shaved it down um, just as enough. Like took the little flanges off pretty much. The uh, middle is pretty much untouched. That side's untouched. That side I touched a little bit. But uh, you see it's still pretty rigid, like it's not bendy or twisty or anything like that, so that's the point. And what I'm doing is, well, first off there's my new battery, a 40C 5000 milliamp uh, Venom, and that's going to be for this truck. So this goes in there, and then that's going to give me my front brace across. It's no thicker than anything else. And then uh, that'll leave me these two holes here for my servo mounts, and I should be able to fit them in there. I did have to shave down the outside here because the bumper for this truck just wouldn't fit behind there, uh, stuck out a little bit more. So, still waiting for those servo mounts, and that's why I haven't torn the truck apart yet to uh, get in there and change out the motors and stuff, because uh, really I don't have a to do that if I gotta pull the frame apart again and everything but I guess really I just have to take out this one slide this out and I can slide the servos in there but if I get around to it I get around to it it's a uh, lazy Tuesday for me um, I did pick this up the other day too and Antigui 55 turn lathe motor and yeah that's gonna go on my semi truck so I don't think this motor is going to get used. Uh, brushless is going into that. And then I think I'm going to take that RC four wheel drive 80 turn and hook it into my dump mechanism when that shows up. So there's that. Uh, picked up uh, Prince's Auto, got some cordless drill. I got a tarantula for my charger thing. All different ends. Um, I got new grill for the truck buddy Jason there bought a parts lot and it was in there and don't want to lose parts here so it's different you got two headlights instead of one and you got two well, three park lights I guess instead of one and it's chrome I upgraded to XLT some of you guys are not wanting me to paint this truck and they're like eh, it's up for debate still I also picked up uh, half a dozen of these I'm gonna use that for uh, plasti dip in my uh, receiver and making this truck completely waterproof and by plastic dipping it I can move it from truck to truck I also picked up this it is a center punch you just push it down and it katings and makes a dent no wandering drill bits all kinds of fun uh, I think that's all I got for right now um, just gotta wait for those parts to come in to finish doing this axle and get some servos mounted and it should be fun. Nice and sturdy now. Oh well. And it doesn't touch there anymore. So that's it for just this quick update. Uh, we'll see what else happens.